I'm live. Cool video. It says I'm live. Go home. We'll have to figure it out later because I gotta go. Okay, grade six and seven, quiet, please. We're live. Thank you. Thank you, Mason. Good morning, PSAA. Hello, welcome to another week. As we uh, get, I think it's what five weeks now until Christmas. I know there's. I know there's a certain someone in uh, Miss Bridgman's grade seven class who probably likes Christmas more than anyone I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, no, it's actually uh, JB. JB loves Christmas. So anyway, uh, Austin is away. So Kaylin Booth is on the computer helping me with the slideshow today. Let's get started. Get used to seeing that. Schedule for this week, Hockey Black. Today, you're at Stu, then you have Flex, Dryland, Ice, R&D, Hockey White, Dryland today, then Ice, R&D, Dryland, Ice, Hockey Green and Dance, you have Flex, then Dryland, then you have Sports Specific Training, R&D, Dryland, Ring it. Sports Specific, Flex, Dryland, Sports Specific, R&D, Turin Baseball, Dryland, Sports Specific, R&D, Dryland, Sports Specific, Sports Performance and Swim. Flex, Dryland, Sports Specific R&D, Dryland. There's your schedule for the week. Make sure you know what you're doing on any given day. This hasn't changed since last week. We are going to be starting our lizard brain presentation for R&D uh, on the 24th, so on Wednesday. And then Learn to Train doesn't happen until after we come back in January. Uh, we had a great presentation on Friday. Daryl Bosenkul was here. He did a great job. For those of you who missed it, we will be going through it. Uh, we'll, we, we will be watching the replay of it uh, today and tomorrow before we get to our next R&D session. If you are someone who did see it and you're in flex today, you're going to have other options to make sure you're caught up uh, and other activities to do. So wonderful. On deck is yoga for next week. We're still finalizing it, but we are going to go through three days of yoga practice. Um, we might have to divide you up into different classrooms, but we'll for sure use the big classroom. And then we might have to video some of you in from another room just so that we have enough space. Cool. Still working on uh, the green light process. Stay tuned. Student council. Eventually, we'll get around to talking to everybody because I just forgot last week, if I'm honest. Masks. Please wear your masks. We have heard from... The secretaries, we've heard from other teachers and from the Broxton admin that we have some of our students walking through the hallways without masks on. You don't have to like it. I don't like it. No one likes it. Everyone hates it, but you have to do it. So just wear your masks and please, 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 please bring your own masks. I know that some of you are scared to go in and talk to the secretaries now because they give you a hard time when you ask for masks multiple times. I don't blame them. That's coming out of Broxton's budget. Bring your own mask. Uh, I want to say a, did I spell that wrong? No, I didn't. Okay. I want to say a big congratulations and thank you to everyone who was there on Friday. Uh, not only did you behave properly, you were engaged. You asked wonderful questions. That is exactly how I wanted something like that to go. I'm working on many different speakers over the course of the year. Uh, the next one is, I believe, going to occur December 3rd. Uh, Shaquin Albrow, who works with the Phoenix Suns, is going to tell you a little bit about his story. He's going to have a much different story growing up in the United States. Um, and then we have Rich Hesketh, we have Andrew Buckley, uh, Jen Heil might be coming. I'm working on getting um, Megan Kurswall, who swam for University of Calgary when they won a national championship and is now involved in sport marketing. Uh, actually, I'm going to reach out to Daryl and see if we can't get the um, the lady he works with that played ringette and is now um, one of the lawyers for the Oilers. So uh, thank you for that. Lastly, we now have jump testers in each classroom. 
So what that means is we need to be diligent with our app entries. So when you get to school in the morning, the jump testers will be set up, do the jumps on your own time, making sure your shoes are nice and dry, please. I know that in my classroom, I don't want any unnecessary water on the floor to have to clean up later. So come in, do your jump test, do your wellness screen. And if you're really on the ball, make sure you do your early morning heart rate because that gives us two, two uh, metrics to see how your wellness is occurring on a daily basis. So just a reminder to do those. Um, after a tremendous victory last Friday by Scrivens, they were outnumbered almost by double. It didn't matter. Scrivens decimated House Arsenal. It was very, very enjoyable to watch, in fact. So, um, but Arsenal keeps winning Athletes of the Week. So, Scrivens is trying to keep pace. Labbe made a bit of a jump. But this week on Friday, one of these two houses are going to make a jump because it's Heil versus Labbe this coming Friday. Student Athletes of the Week. Seth Badry. Hockey, grade seven. Miss Bridgman, well done. Also known as Moose, just in case anybody was wondering. Oh, that's a good question. Let me check. My grade six has just asked what house, and I don't know off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure I put all the goalies in Scrivens just because Scrivens was a goalie and played in the NHL and it would have made sense, but I'm going to double check. <laughs> Seth Badry. Isn't on my list. Why isn't he on my list? Oh, that's why. Oh, oh, oh. Arsenal. Yes. Next, Georgia McCurdy from uh, Cheer and in Monsieur Hebert's class. And she is in. Where is Georgia? I believe Georgia McCurdy is in. Heil. What? Yay! Yep, she's in Heil. So Heil gets an extra 20 points there. Go ahead, Kaylin. Thought of the day today. We're getting a little bit more uh, sophisticated. This is the my favorite book that I've ever read. It is very, very heavy. It is hard to read. You have to go back over the pages multiple times. But uh, the book is called Art of War. And the author of the book, Sun Tzu, says the victorious warrior wins first and then goes to war, while defeated warriors go to war and then seek to win. So hopefully that inspires some thinking early on a Monday morning. PSA, you have a great week.